Now this weather is what I am talking about. Oh, it's been so much warmer this past couple of days and it makes prep so much easier when you're not freezing all the time. And there is not a cloud in that sky. And funnily enough, I would, would actually not mind training outside today, but I'm not doing that. I am doing a upper workout at unit seven today it is my second high carb day and i'm very excited because yesterday was my first high carb day and i trained legs oh <laughs> well my life changed my life completely changed yesterday and i'm not even exaggerating i got sent some knee wraps by one of my sponsors aqf sports shout out to those guys and i've had i've got knee support which they've not really done much to be honest and I've always avoided squatting I've done it occasionally but never really progressed it or enjoyed it that much I've never felt like I can push as hard as I can say with RDLs or with a leg press um, but yesterday I will put in a clip for you of, of how I felt oh my god that's so cold <sighs> so previously my last leg session when I did back squats and I did 60 kg. I got 10 reps and did three sets, and that was a bit of a struggle. Yesterday, I did five sets of 20 reps at 60 kg. My leg doms are going to be horrendous when they finally kick in tomorrow when I'm also training legs again but I love doms because you just I just love that feeling of knowing I just absolutely push my limits and yeah it was so good so I definitely recommend trying them out just I felt so much more stable which just meant I, I was comfortable in pushing myself to that next level which is the intensity i love to train at and it's where you grow the most but i cannot wait to progress them and to see how heavy we can go just because i'm on prep doesn't mean i'm gonna stop pushing for pbs not in my blood i just go for it all the time so less of that i'm getting ready to train now <laughs> i'm gonna show you this workout i'm very excited i've got my pre-workout bagels with jam and i'm gonna eat them on the way let's do a huge upper session.
it is Saturday the 3rd of April and you have joined me on Silk Care Saturday. I've just dyed my hair and my tan, ready for tomorrow. I definitely couldn't really be bothered but I thought I need to keep making the effort because soon I will be properly a prep gremlin and just not wanting to do anything. Probably looking like a foot most of the time so for now still looking reasonably reasonably presentable. It's been a very busy week. I've not picked up the camera since I filmed my last workout, which was on Monday. I've been very, very busy with work. Obviously the gyms are opening a week on Monday. So I've been getting ready for, you know, doing all my new gym plans for clients. Um, had a couple of new starters as well and um, been doing some training and going into unit seven quite a bit this week. So warm yesterday that I was sunbathing outside of unit seven and then today it was seven degrees when I went on the run this morning. I was wearing gloves so hopefully it's a little bit longer and the just this cold weather will be gone but I think the sun has definitely helped like compared to last week where I had really bad prep brain and I felt a lot more tired and just generally more preppy. <laughs> this week has felt much better even though I've done the same cardio, same food and things like that. So yeah the sun definitely gives you more energy and as well I always feel that in the summer I'm not as hungry as in the winter so I think that definitely helps when you're in a calorie deficit there's a bit of sunshine um, to help with the diet. wanted to chat a little bit about mindset whilst on prep because this prep has honestly been incredible. I've loved every minute of it so far. <laughs> I'm sure I'm going to love the next nine weeks as well but Compared to my first season competing, I am in a very, very different mindset and I think advice to anyone that is thinking about competing for the first time or even second time, third time, make sure that your life surrounding you as you enter prep is positive as can be. You know, the less sort of stresses that you have externally, it's just going to make your prep so much easier and I think you have to go into it with the mindset of thinking yeah you know it's going to be hard but you can still appreciate and still enjoy the hard times. My first prep I kind of used prep as an excuse for a lot of things like if I was feeling tired or grumpy or in a mood or getting irritable like obviously these things do happen when you're dieting like your body is essentially under stress and you know you're going to get cranky when you can't eat as much as your body is using that's just part of it but the way that you respond to how you're feeling and how like positive a mindset that you remain in is down to you and I've done a lot of work on sort of personal development over this past year I think lockdown kind of forced that upon most people and something that I've practiced a lot more is gratitude and honestly it just has changed everything even on days where it's you know you're tired you're hungry you don't want to go out and get the steps like I just have a switch the second that if I even get any sort of negative thought I just think of all, all the things that I do have how grateful I am to be in to be able to be in this position and to be able to prep I think something I've heard a lot of people say is like prep, prep is a privilege we live in society and we live in countries where we can choose to eat less and there's people out there that they don't even have that choice so the fact that we can go to the gyms when they're open or just even doing home workouts you know, you've got a roof over your head you can train at home but just being in this positive mindset and just appreciating every second it teaches you so much and yeah I think it's just the best way to go through prep, look at what you do have rather than what you don't have and I think a lot of people when they're prepping as well they end up being too food focused and think about what they're missing out on. Maybe your friends are all having sweets and chocolate and like Easter is tomorrow so obviously I can't have Easter eggs or anything but it doesn't bother me in the slightest because I know my goals are so much more important to me 
I'm privileged to be able to do prep and to, to go through this experience. So, yeah, be as positive as you can whilst you're on prep. It goes by so quickly. <laughs> I'm nine weeks out tomorrow and that I've been on prep for 11 weeks. And that's crazy to me. It's gone so quickly and this next nine weeks is going to absolutely fly by. So, yeah, enjoy it while you can. Because you'll soon be in off-season wishing you were as lean as you were on prep. <laughs> That's just the way it is. But yeah, I'm going to actually finish the vlog here. Not a very big one this week, but I hope you enjoyed it regardless. Remember to hit the like and subscribe button for all future videos. And thanks very much for watching and supporting. Tomorrow's a high carb day. I'm very excited. I'll see you on the next video.